Well, I think it's a good time to do it, don't you? We have to do it, Mr. President. But the other side, uh, the violated the... ...thing in the plane de Jard, they are uh, stepping up the infiltration. Right. The strike will probably not be played then in the papers until tomorrow. Well, not until... No, actually, for the papers to be laid out, not until tomorrow, that's right. That's fine, that's good. Oh, that's good. Laos, one of the top 50 poorest countries. 26% of the Laotian population is below the poverty line. Although this situation may sound just as devastating as the ones you hear on the news every week, a secret best kept untold awaits. This 26% live without ever knowing when they'll die. Why? Because live bombs still in the ground are waiting to be triggered. 260 million bombies were dropped. That was part of the 2 million tons of bombs. Bombies are small tennis ball sizes of bombs that were packaged up in a large bomb shell. Uh, and it housed anywhere, um, I'm told, 600 to 1,000 in a bomb shell. And when the bomb would drop from the plane, the shell would open up and you would have what they call black rain. Imagine a clear blue sky stained with black dots. You wait to discern what it could be until it's too late and it destroys your reality. Forty years and counting, less than 1% of the bombies have been cleared, 100 casualties every year, an estimated 5,000 years to clear all the bombs from Laos. Isn't it about time that we wake up and realize how much we really have? Families, friends, resources. The worst horror of this whole thing, that, that we killed off the people who we have the most to learn from. And we killed off people who, in my opinion, were superior to us. Far superior on, on every level other than violence. You know, we're good at violence, that's what we do well. There's really nothing that benefits from a poor economy. But the Laotians somehow are able to invent their own methods of sustaining livelihood. The chances you start thinking of a bombie are inevitable. Because everywhere in Laos, those scraps of the past make a surprising appearance. Either in a restaurant as a wall decoration, or in a backyard as barbed wire fencing posts. And he shall judge among many people, and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Micah 4.3